What's up, YouTube? I have an M3000 that I'm going to adjust my cant on. Um, I had a problem with the stock in my last video, so since I got it apart, I'm going to change my cant. If you look at these little different cants they give you, I don't know if you can see the numbers on them. Let me see if I can get them in the light here. This one here is 65. That's the one that came on the gun. No, 60 came on the gun. So this is a 60. You see here, oh, 55. Sorry about that. And this one here is a 60. That's original. You can see the glue on it. That's when it came on the gun. But the gun is shooting too high, so I'm going to adjust it down. I'm going to go with the 50. Now, it says 50 right. If you're left-handed, you flip it over. That's left. So make sure that if you're right-handed, you put right, or you're going to mess it up, okay? So I'm going to go with the 50 right. All that really does is when you hold the gun up and you put your eye on the, on the cheek rest to shoot, if you can see the target is too high or the target is too low, the center target, you stay perfectly still, hold your gun level, and if you see that the eye, they are not lining up, they're too high and you have to tilt it down to align it, then you need to change your cant. Now, if it's perfectly fine, don't worry about it, but mine is high, so I'm shooting high, so I'm going to change mine to the 50, and really, all you're going to do is um, drop this back in. You can watch my last video on how I took this all apart. I did that for the loose stock repair for the Stoger M3000. Showed you how to, eh, kind of showed you how to, what to do there. But you're going to make sure you drop this in here. It just slides in there. That's a 50R. It's at the 50 right. And that'll drop my cat down. Now, if that doesn't work, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a 55. See, I have a 55. And in the manual, it tells you nothing about this. There's only one place it shows you, and it's right there in the manual. It shows you there's four of them. Shows you one of them is in there, and it says on there, if you read the, the directions on here, it says shim plate drop, but it tells you nothing else in the whole manual about it. So I'm going to adjust that, and then all you do is put the, um, you know, drop the butt stack stock back on it, you know, drop the nut and bolt on it, which I found out, I took this nut and bolt out. After looking at the, mag the manual, I found out here that my gun never came with the right parts, because... And this is probably why it broke loose, is when I showed me here, well, let me see what the breakdown's out of it, because it's supposed to have another washer, and uh, let me see where the heck it went, wow. Okay, what's well, not in it anyway? There's another flat washer, another round washer, it's supposed to go on with this one, and then the nut, and also in mine, this broke loose, and I tightened this up, and I put the uh, Loctite on that and fixed that. So basically, you're just going to put that in there. It's now a 55. This is going to slide over here. That's going to lock in there. And then I'm just going to put my nut on top. It's going to drop down inside there. You see inside there? It's going to drop inside there and tighten down. And then I'm just going to put my screws back on with my butt pad here. So really, that's it. And then you can just, if you need to change it because it doesn't work, if you go down, if you go down in numbers, like it was a 60 before, right? So this is a 60. It was too high. So if you go down, the gun tilts down. If you go up, the gun tilts up. So your gun probably comes with a 60 stock. So if it's shooting too low, you'll want to go to a 65 because they give, and that's all they give you. 65 is the highest. So after that, you probably want to get a cheek riser or something to get it to change. But that's it. Good luck, guys.